Today has been a bit challenging, or I should say the last couple of days, because we have had significant overflow in the first section of the trail. We found uh, ways around it, but that created, of course, uh, trails that are very soft, so people will find it very hard, they're gonna struggle. They're not gonna like me at that point in time, but uh, from the Takini, it's gonna be good. Trails are gonna be harder, temperatures are colder there, and we should have uh, a good race. All these pokes all loaded for these athletes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. You did. I'm Callum, I'm one of the volunteers that are helping out at all the checkpoints, help all the volunteers uh, and all the rest of the crew load all the athlete pulps, load all the sledges, make sure we've got food and water and fire on the go when it gets to the checkpoint time and they're all cold and miserable. And I guess the biggest thing we do from the athlete's point of view is we have to talk to them, make sure that they're feeling okay. If they're having like a, a dark night of the soul, make sure we give them the time to talk it through, really help them sort of relax emotionally after a really long, you know, 20 hour day sometimes walking with no company. I'm just trying to get my uh, computer set up. And I'm doing the 100 miler and I am doing it to show my girls. I have two daughters and I want to show them that women don't age out of adventures, we grow into them. So I've got my girls pictures on my pulp with me and I'm hoping it will inspire me to go the distance, the full 100 miles. I'm uh, Fabian Impelt from uh, Switzerland. My name is Russ Reinbold. I'm from San Diego, California. My name is Walter Hirsch. I'm from Germany. Hi, I'm Sam Jeremy. I'm from the UK. I'm Lana Rogozinski and I'm from Calgary, Alberta. I'm Kike Trui. I'm from Spain. I'm Herbert Costa. I'm from Switzerland. I'm born in France. I live in Kitchener. I'm from Italy. My name is Patrick Sumi, coming from Switzerland. I'm Terry Gilmartin and I'm from just outside uh, Western Age. My name is Corley Elliott. I'm a born and raised Yukoner. My name is Gareth Jones uh, from Bristol. In the UK. I'm Lucy Barbadi, I'm coming from France. And I'm Jen King, I'm also from Whitehurst. Uh, my name is uh, James Binks, from yeah, I'm from England. My name is Maciej, I'm from Poland. I'm quite an avid uh, mountain biker back home, so I come from the UK. Yeah. Jen was saying up to um, Braver. Did you tag in terms of food? It's uh, like a chili con carne, pasta con, with uh, tomatoes, which is quite good. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the restaurant, but it's good. And yeah, you have like a stove in there too and all that, right? Yeah. Is it your first attempt? Um, no, I've, um, this is my ninth time here. I've, I've attempted all distances. I've managed 100 and 300. I'm back here for my second attempt at this race. It's my first time here in the Yukon. And I go to the 300 miles and I hope I do it. I'm doing a 100. And this year I'm doing 100 miles. It's my second attempt. Last time I tried 300 miles, got 100 miles, so I've come back to try again with another friend from Ottawa. Doing the 300. Oh, how are you, buddy? Let's we'll see what happens. Okay. I'm doing 300. This is my first marathon. I'm very excited to do it on the Yukon River. This is actually my fourth time doing the Arctic Ultra. And this is my fifth time in the race. And I came here, you know, I've been watching this race for the last five years, and I finally decided it's my time. And it was so appealing seeing all these guys coming here. Uh, the reports were so, you know, uh, great that I finally decided I need to come simply and check out. And I, it's my first time in the Yukon and now I go to the 300 miles, okay? Good guys. I'm trying the 100 first. I've met these wonderful people here. Uh, I'm a firefighter and here to do the 300. First time on it. Yeah, it's just one of the toughest things, so it's got to be done really. 300 miles. Um, it's, it's a dream, I'm fulfilling. I just want to enjoy the journey and great friends. Fantastic, thank you. This year I'm doing 100, and hopefully next year 
I can uh, complete the 400. I'm running the Yukon Arctic Ultra because I want to do a marathon in my hometown and it's a great way to beat the winter blues. I will run the uh, world uh, 300 miles. First time here in Yukon for a cold experience. I'm so happy to be here again. Last year I uh, pulled out before Brayburn around mile 86. Got cold, uh, my spirit was broken, wasn't in a good place. Anyway, that was then, this is now. Uh, I'm very well prepared. After uh, today, we're expecting significantly colder temperatures. Temperatures will soon go down to minus 25, minus 30, and later on, maybe even down to minus 40. Yeah, I've always been attracted from the north, and I found that was the best way to get motivated to train and to do it in such a setting. It's, it's just uh, fantastic. This is to an excuse to, to stay all the year training. <laughs> and, I love this. One, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Done all my homework. The time has come. Really excited to get back out there and pick up where I left off last year. I'm just very grateful for the opportunity to be here. It's been a long road. Done a lot of training. Done everything. I'm ready to go. I've got my beats on, singing. Whoa, whoa, sometime it's got a good feeling. System! Yeah! On fire! Woo! I last time I did the 300 was 16 years ago. So I'm looking forward to doing it again. Well, we've just seen the start of the Montane Yukon Arctic Ultra 2020. Um, we were two minutes late. So 10.32, we saw everybody off. The crew is now just dismantling everything. Um, we have trail guides uh, ahead of the field. We have crew that's gonna follow up from the back and our checkpoints are ready to receive everyone.